Hello, it's Blue Orange 22 Now, I want to do a quick video on the differences in heart attacks and heart disease between men and women. Because I'm starting to see a lot of information online that's suggesting that heart attacks and heart disease are worse for women and that women have a greater risk. This is just not scientifically accurate. And the reality is heart attacks and heart disease are significantly worse for men and men are significantly more likely to die. I'm going to show you the data and the evidence that proves that in just a little bit. But first, I want to show you some of the articles that I'm talking about. This is also not going to be the full length video on this. I'm just going to kind of do a quick intro of some of the stats. I'm going to do a longer video in the future. Uh, I'm going to do a men's health series and do a full breakdown then. But just take a quick look at this. So this was an article in Time magazine two years ago. You can see it says women die from heart attacks more often than men. Time magazine is a major publication. And as you can see, that same article was repeated here in Cedar sinais Now, the problem with this is that it's just not true. It's just misinformation. And in general, too, it's very difficult to find information on men's heart disease on the Internet. Just try and Google anything to do with heart disease or heart attack. Try Googling heart disease rates by gender or men or women more heart attacks or who gets more heart attacks, men or women. You're going to see the vast majority of results are about women and women's heart disease and women's heart attack. And a lot of the articles are written in a way that tries to make it sound like it's worse for women and that women are more likely to die. Now, first of all, I do understand that, yes, historically, women's heart disease was not researched as much as men. And I do acknowledge that there are unique issues that women face in terms of heart disease. But overall, if you look at the stats, overwhelmingly, you will see that heart disease and heart attacks are worse for men. Let's take a look. Here's the first study from Harvard Medical School, which I think we can all agree is a pretty good source. Throughout life, heart attacks are twice as common in men than women. Um, and then it says, researchers found that throughout life, men were about twice as likely as women to have a heart attack. That higher risk persisted even after they accounted for traditional risk factors for heart disease, including high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, body mass index, and physical activity. So that study found that men have double the risk of heart attack. And as you'll see in some of the data I show you next, it might even be more than double, which is a pretty significant difference. And what's also interesting is notice the second half of that paragraph when it found that even when the risk factors were equal, such as weight, such as cholesterol, such as exercise, even when those things were equal between men and women, men still had a higher risk, which suggests that men are automatically at a greater risk for heart attack and heart disease due to natural biological reasons. This has actually been confirmed in several studies, um, which I'm going to break down in the longer video. Uh, but let's look at some more stats. Okay, so these are stats from the American Heart Association which by the way, I've put in the description below, along with links to every other study you see here. Uh, the first one, prevalence of coronary heart disease by age and sex. Now, first look at 60 to 79. The blue line is obviously men, the red line is obviously women. For men, it's almost 20% of the population. For women, it's almost 10% of the population. So it's basically double for men, which is what we saw in that last study. And then at the age of 80 and above, it's 32% for men and almost 19% for women. Not quite double for men, but almost. Now, this one, this is for heart attacks. Prevalence of myocardial infarction by age and sex. That basically just means heart attacks. Uh, we can see from 40 to 59, it's almost double. But then look at 60 to 79. For men, it's 11.3%. For women, it's 4.2%. That's almost triple. That's almost three times the risk. And then for 80 plus, for men, it's 17. For women, it's about nine. So it's almost double. So obviously, women are not getting more heart attacks than men. Something else to take note of 
You'll notice that the higher risk for men was consistent until the very end of life, from 60 to 80 plus. Something you'll see in some of these articles talks about how the risk for men is only more before the age of 65. And after menopause, it kind of becomes equal for men and women. But as you saw in that chart, that's not true either. And the risk for men is higher pretty much always. But the most important thing to really measure heart attack deaths is looking at the actual number of deaths. So let's do that. So here's a page from Statista. Great website for this kind of thing, by the way. This is also linked below. This is showing deaths by heart disease in the US in 2016. So that's pretty recent. And then divided by age and gender. Um, it's by 100,000 resident population. So this is how many out of 100,000. Uh, the left column you can see is male, the right column is for female. Let's start with 45 to 54. Look at the difference. For male, it's 112. For female, it's 47. That's more than double for men. Now for 55 to 64. For male, 271. For female, 113. That's more than double, rather significantly. Then for 65 to 74, for male, it's 536. For female, it's 266. That's about double. Uh, then 75 to 84, for male, it's 1300. For female, it is 826. Not quite double, but still obviously a lot more. Uh, and then 85 years and over, for male, 4400. For female, 3500. That's the closest one so far, but that's still a big difference. So once again, we see that the risk factor does not become the same after the age of 65. And even after the age of 65, men are still significantly more likely to die from heart attacks and heart disease. Now, the thing is, after looking at these stats, is it really fair that we still have more research for women than for men? I understand that historically, yes, more research was given to men, but men are still very significantly behind when it comes to heart attacks and heart disease. We're still dying at a much higher rate. So it's kind of not fair that men are getting so much less. And when you look at all of these articles talking about why heart disease is worse for women, you usually see something like, well, women are more likely to die in the first year after a heart attack. Right, but that's because women are older on average when they have a heart attack. And it's also because men are more likely to die on the spot from a heart attack, and they don't really survive at all. Overall though, I think the stats are pretty clear. Men die more from heart attacks and heart disease by a pretty big margin. And the reason why this bothers me is because there could be special research into why this is. What is the effect of testosterone and the male body on heart health? And how can we do something to fix it and help close the gap? But because of the politics around it, we're not really seeing that happen. And in my opinion, that's just not equal and just not fair.